News out of Rochester. We're tracking an apartment fire on South Clinton Avenue. We're hearing one person has been badly hurt. Rebecca Fath is on scene now. She joins us live. Rebecca, what do we know so far? Oh, well, Adam, right now it is still a very active scene here on South Clinton Avenue at the Pinnacle Apartments where um, everyone who lives inside of the apartment complex they're all being let back in except for those who live on the fifth floor now someone to tell us more about what happened is rochester fire lieutenant ryan fleming um tell us a little bit about what's going on right now we still have a lot of a lot of people on scene so right now we have fire investigation conducting um, their investigation as to what may have caused the fire and we've got teams, uh, we've got fire crews doing overhaul inside the building. Now do we have any idea on um, the condition of any of the people, how many were taken to the hospital, any word on their condition? Right now so there were four patients, two were, uh, two were transported, there was, there was one that is critically injured that we're still assessing and one refused treatment. Now, you were telling me something about the fifth floor. Uh, it may have, fire may have been isolated to one apartment. Can you elaborate a little on that? Yes, fire crews were able to contain the fire to a fifth floor apartment. Uh, there was minor smoke damage throughout the floor, but the fire was contained to the apartment. So do we think that anybody is going to be displaced on this Christmas Eve, or is everybody going to be able to get back into their place where they live? So right now, I, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, we will see what the investigation unveils and then we'll be able to determine if there's going to be anyone that's displaced from the fire. All right. Now, thank you so much, Lieutenant Ryan Fleming. Adam, now, um, of course, as we were talking about earlier, a uh, call came in around 240 and about 300 people were evacuated from the building. Um, one person is in, listed as in critical condition. We have been checking with the hospital to update, but we haven't heard anything yet. And of course, as soon as we know more about the condition, we will have it on our website, rochesterfirst.com. Adam. All right, Rebecca, thank you. We'll also provide updates on our social media platforms on Twitter and Facebook. Again.